So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Lightworks and Kaden Live. So the past couple of videos on my channel, I've edited with Lightworks and pretty much every video on my channel besides those three, I have edited with Caden Live. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot to compare and contrast the two editors. Now Lightworks is a professional grade cross-platform media and video editing tool and it can do a lot. Caden Live is an open source video editing tool by the KDE team. It's cross-platform, kinda, in that it runs on Windows, but it's really designed for Linux. I've ever only used it on Linux, but I've used Lightworks on both Windows and Linux, and it works fine on both platforms. So this video is going to be somewhat long, so let's just go ahead and dive right on into Lightworks. So to get started with a new project in Lightworks, you open it up and click the Create a New Project button, which drops down a new project details modal. You enter in the name of your project, choose your frame rate. Now this little drop down is very important because if you have clips with mixed frame rates and you choose a static frame rate like 30 FPS, Lightworks will not let you add those other clips into your project. You will have to recreate your project because you can't change the details of your project after it's been created. And once you've created your project, you can go ahead and start adding your media, whether it be audio, video, whatever. Now another important limitation of Lightworks is that it only supports certain formats. For whatever reason, Lightworks does not support the open source format MKV, so you would either have to transcode it or just re-record your clips using uh, MP4 or something like that. So adding your media to the timeline is pretty much like any video editor. You drag and drop from the bin onto the timeline. By default, Lightworks will break up video and audio tracks into separate tracks. So for example, the video clip I have has some stereo audio, so it will put the video in V1 and then it will link the two audio sets in A1 and A2. If you have a clip and you don't want to import the audio, you disable the A1 and A2 and then just drop the file on there. It will import it into the timeline without the audio. Now there's no real concept of a cut tool like the scissors. Instead of having a dedicated cutting tool, you move the head onto the section of the clip that you want to cut, and you press delete. This will cause the clips to split, and then you can use the actual delete command to remove the portions of the clips you don't want. Now all my videos do a very quick fade in, so I need to go to effects and add a dissolve effect to the beginning of this video. In Caden Live, this effect is called fade in or fade from black, I can't remember. In Lightworks, the equivalent is Dissolve. Now, effects are really, really cool and powerful in Lightworks, but I also find them to be a bit clunky, and it's really easy to use them wrong and get your clips out of sync. So for example, I added the Dissolve effect here, and I needed to reduce the amount of time it dissolves so it fades in really fast. So I grab the effect and move it to the left, in effect, actually shrinking it. The problem is that it caused my audio to go out of sync by 20. I think that's 20 milliseconds, I'm not actually sure. Once you've added your effect, you can move it around in the timeline just like you can with any clip. However, depending on where you grab the timeline, and this is true with any clip, it will affect the clips that are linked to it. So for example, I'm moving the effect, but it's also moving and affecting the audio tracks below it. So again, if you do this wrong, you can screw up how the tracks are synced up. Now there's probably other ways of making transitions between clips, but the way I do it, I make a cut on the clip itself where I want the transition to begin, and then I go back to the effects section, choose the effect that I want, in this case it's going to be a wipe transition, and I place the transition midway between the two clips. For whatever reason, you can't place it midway between the clips. You have to either place it at the beginning of the right side clip or the end of the left side clip. The result is the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then just like the dissolve effect, you can resize it by grabbing one end of it and then moving it. If you do this wrong, and I'm not really sure what wrong is because it seems to just sort of happen, you can get your clips out of sync. Now, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong to cause the misalignment or out of sync clips, but there's no tooltips showing me or telling me what I'm doing wrong, which is weird because there's tooltips all over the place. If you search for help or documentation on Lightworks, the most common issue people have by far are their clips getting out of sync. So you'd think that there would be an easy way to prevent it or fix it, but there's not. So in this case, I added the wipe and Lightworks is telling me my audio is out of sync by 90. 
Now, despite that, I can't really hear a difference. So maybe it's just enough that you can't tell, but either way, things are out of sync. It is what it is. So believe it or not, we've covered most of the effects and workflow that I use in my videos. Now, one thing that we didn't cover here is the compositing portions of the videos that I do sometimes for benchmarks where there's pictures and pictures and stuff like that. I'm not going to cover that here because I actually don't know how to do that in Lightworks. I'm sure it's possible. I just haven't. But there's three things I want to talk about before we switch over to Kaden Live. You may have noticed throughout the clips that the time it takes between sections or clips in the video, if that makes sense, is starting to take longer and longer. For example, when I go back and forth between edit and effects mode. That's not me doing that, that's Lightworks doing that. It seems like the longer you use Lightworks, the slower it becomes. And this is true on Linux and Windows. I did my Cortana video on Windows. I edited that on Windows and it had the same problem. When you first launch Lightworks, it's really snappy and it's smooth and it's great. But as time goes on, it gets slower and slower and slower to the point where it's almost unbearable. Another thing that happens as time goes on is the transitions in the previewer seem to break. So if you notice some of these transitions, watch the previewer, they're not happening. So it's supposed to do a transition, whether it's a wipe or a push or whatever, but the previewer isn't showing the effect. I rendered the video and I watched it and the effects were there. So this is clearly a problem with the Lightworks editor and the previewer. I don't know what goes wrong, but it just stops working. And while we're talking about exporting, I'm using the free version here. The free version allows you to export directly to YouTube, which is kind of weird, but it also allows you to export to 720p using the H246 codec, which isn't bad. The quality isn't bad at all. However, it is something to consider unless you want to pony up the $200, I think, for a yearly license, and I believe that the outright license is close to $500, so either way, Lightworks isn't that bad. It's a pretty good value for what it provides. But now I think we're done talking about Lightworks, let's jump over to the Caden Live side of the house. So with Caden Live, you open up the application and your project is there, ready. You don't have to like create one or set the settings or anything. It just kind of pulls from the default settings. You take your clips and drop them into the project bin. Now Caden Live can handle pretty much any format that I've ever seen. I'm not sure why Lightworks can't handle a relatively common format like MKV. Even though I have that format here, I'm going to stick with the MP4 because that's what I used in the Lightworks section. In Caden Live, the effects section is like a tab inside the, I guess, modular windowing setup. It's not like a totally different section in the editor. Now with Lightworks, they consolidate a lot of effects into, I guess, common effects that you can modify. So in Lightworks, the fade in is actually a dissolve effect. So it like dissolves from or to black, which makes it look like a fade. With Caden Live, it's like an actual fade. I mean, the effect is called fade in and fade out or fade to black, whatever. Now Caden Live has an actual cut scissors tool. So you take the tool, place it on the clip that you want to cut, and it splits it in an, into two. From here, you can resize the clips, delete the clips, modify the clips or whatever. Now a really cool feature that Lightworks does that Caden Live does not is in Lightworks, when you cut a clip, you can delete one of the two clips that was cut and it will automatically fill the gap. That's really handy if you're working with a lot of different clips and sections and stuff. With Caden Live, you kind of have to move things around with the mouse, which is fine because it's fluid and it's quick, but it's just a different workflow. With Caden Live, a transition and an effect are two different things. They're similar, but they're different. So the way I was doing pushes and dissolves with Lightworks, it's all considered an effect. So I take the two clips that are literally next to each other, and in Lightworks, I take an effect and place them and kind of like tape them together in a way you could think of it. With Caden Live, and this, this has always been kind of weird to me, I have two video sections and I have one clip on video one and one clip on video two and I have to have them overlap just a little bit. And then I create a transition between the two and that is the actual uh, transition between the two clips. This can get weird if you're transitioning from the top to the bottom because you have to set the property of the transition to revert, otherwise it does it backwards and it looks weird. Also notice that Caden Live automatically combines the video and audio tracks into the same track. 
You can tell it not to do that. That's just like a default. To be honest with you, I actually kind of like it because that way you never have to worry about the video and audio getting out of sync because it's all one track. Speaking of single tracks, if you look at audio one, that is one track, but it's actually stereo, despite it looking like it's mono. Remember in Lightworks, it was actually two different tracks, so it was true stereo. Again, I actually prefer the tracks to be the same because the type of editing I'm doing, I don't care if it's stereo or mono, it all gets mixed down to one track anyway. Now a really cool and handy thing about Caden Live is that you can tweak and tune a lot of things about the editor. So when I'm watching back the tracks that I'm editing, the previewer can kind of slow down and lag, especially if I'm watching transitions. And you can actually change the quality of the preview tracks. So I changed it from high quality to preview. That will make things generally smoother. I can't tell a quality difference and obviously it doesn't render out to lower quality. But that's a really nice feature that you can do in Caden Live. Lightworks is completely not configurable. You literally cannot configure anything about the editor besides the window. So if it runs like crap on your computer, there's nothing you can do about it. So that pretty much wraps up Caden Live. Again, this is a very simple and linear editing workflow. Some of my videos can be a little bit more complicated with like composited videos and stuff like that, but this is probably the most common workflow that I have. So I've been thinking about making this video for a while and we're going on 12 minutes now. It's taken me about two weeks to produce it. I don't wanna have a long outro, so I will do my best to summarize my experiences with both editors. Personally, I prefer Caden Live because I am used to it I am most familiar with it. I actually edited this video with Caden Live. Lightworks has a lot going for it, but from my experience, it's slow, it's a resource hog, and to be honest with you, it's buggy. On the other hand, you guys know how I feel about Caden Live, so I'm not going to rehash it. During the production of this video, Caden Live crashed once. The video itself got corrupted once and I had to restore a backup. I will say that I'm using the flat pack version of Caden Live. In the most recent video I produced with Caden Live, I used the app image version of it. Both versions were virtually the same, they had the same issues. So it's not a packaging issue, it is a quality issue. So that's gonna wrap this video up. If you appreciated the content and enjoyed the video, consider becoming a backer of mine on Patreon. None of the videos on this channel are monetized through YouTube or AdSense, so the only way I can make money or any sort of revenue from this channel is through you guys, whether it be affiliate links, Patreon backing, or Brave Payments. Either way, I appreciate everybody's support, and thanks for watching.